Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 042 underscore DIAB underscore M where you save it. Click the file tab and over the mouse cursor to save as. Click project. Rename this file to 00 underscore 043 underscore DIAB underscore M. Click the save button. In today's tutorial, we're going to load a family. We're going to bring some family to our project. Click the default 3D view in the quick access toolbar. Change the view detail to fine and change the display to shaded. Click the save button. Go to the project browser and click the plus sign next to floor plan and open the ground floor plan in the floor plan section. Zoom in into this area. In this section, we don't want to see any of this grid. Select any of the grid, click the down arrow and select hide category to hide all the grids. Change the view detail to fine. Now, this view already has a room. When you create uh, rooms in Revit in one view, if the view, any view that corresponds to that room, automatically the room reflects on the other view. We need to greet a room for this, to tag this room. If you have your mouse cursor into this area, you see that the, the rooms are in the background. So now all we need to do, we need to tag them. To do that, go to the architectural tab, room and area panel, and see, click the down arrow after room tag and select tag all. In the dialog box that appear, move down and place a check mark on room tag. Select apply, click OK. So the tax has been placed in this view. So next we need to bring some family into this project. Now select this door and notch this door to the left or use the move key. Click the door and move this door to the left of the project. Go to the modify panel and select the align command. Click the core face of this wall and the edge of this door to move the door this in this direction click the modify button now i don't want to see the some of this line that's above the this symbol so to do that go to the modify panel and select the line walk command in the line style tab click the down arrow and select the invisible line now click on any line Revit I that line in the view. Some line we need to click on them twice to hide them. Click the modify button. Now go to the architectural tab. Click the components panel. Click the down arrow and search for component that you want to place on your project. We don't have so many family loaded in this project. So click the load family button. Hold the scroll bar to scroll down and look for, search for the furniture folder. Double click this folder and start from seat, seating. Double click the folder to open the seating. Select the first one and use the arrow key to scroll down to see the different seat that we have on this profile I'm going to select this sofa and click open this lead load this sofa to the project if the sofa will rent in the wrong direction move the mouse cursor near any object and press the space bar to flip it around place the sofa move to this wall and press the space bar click to place this this click the modify button select the components command again and select load double click the furniture folder and double click the table select the first one 
and use the arrow key to move around to see the different table that you have now I'll select the table dining round double chair and click open to load this into a project zoom in into this area and place this table here select load double click the furniture folder double click the table again and select the coffee table load and pin the coffee table into this area click the load button again double click the furniture folder and double click bed scroll click on the bed one by one or select one and use the arrow key to see the different beds that revit offer select the bed standard hold down the control key and select the bed shaker click open to load these two beds into the project click the load button again hold down the control key and select enter plumbing double click architectural folder and double click fixture bathtub select the first one and use the arrow key to see the different bathtub select the top freestanding 3d and click open zoom in into this area and place the bathtub click the load family button again scroll and double click the plumbing folder architectural fixture double click this folder and see what is here go back by click the up one level button double click to see the 2d and 3d arena you can load this guy by clicking open click the load button now scroll down and look for the specialty equipment double click the specialty equipment and double click domestic select the first one use the down arrow to scroll through to see the difference now hold down the control key and select a to select all and click open but if your system is already slow you may avoid this to load more family that you don't need is is not standard because the more family you load the heavier the project the slower the system so you need to be careful select the middle option click the middle option again now click don't do this for all of the loading and select the middle option click the modify button in the next tutorial we're going to place this family in the right place if you like this tutorial please click the like button and share it to your friends if you have any question or suggestion please leave a comment below if you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye